Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Amazon ML summer school exam. Today I have information that you guys are having the exam of this on 3rd of August and I hope you are prepared well still if you are not then please please watch the videos of Amazon ML in Techno UF and get prepared okay. So the pattern will be like this 20 MCQ questions from probability from statistics then programming basics and uh, from ml and then two dsa based or two coding questions will be there which you need to uh, solve accurately so that you can get an opportunity of 1.5 lakh per month internship offer or you can get 51 lakh per annum offer later in amazon okay so let me just start with the question which has they asked earlier so it will be helpful for you okay just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please share this content with your friend okay so i'll share one resource as well to prepare so just to watch till the end okay so this is the question sample questions for you so please prepare uh, like this okay so this is from derivative so please pause the video and try to give the answer okay i hope you have tried so this is one sample questions uh, after that i'm going to share the coding questions okay okay so let me just find the value of a for double dash x i hope you have tried so please pause and let's try then watch okay so let me find the a dash x at first okay so what is the value of a dash x that is um 2x uh, the derivative of x square that is 2x sin x plus x square and cos x okay this is the value of f dash x and now if i find f double dash x of this what will be that that is uh, 2 into sin x derivative of x that is 2 sin x okay plus 2x into derivative of this okay so 2x derivative of sin x is cos x plus x square sorry plus cos x derivative of x square that is 2x cos x plus uh, x square derivative of cos x that is minus sin x so minus x square sin x okay so what is the gist value that is 2 2 sin x plus 2 2x cos x 2x cos x that is 4x cos x so 2 sin x plus 4x cos x minus x square sin x so 2 sin x is here and 4x cos x minus x square sin x so the correct answer will be option c so i hope your answer is also same so please tick on this and let's just move to the next question and next question is the coding question guys uh, actually just be prepared with the statistics chapter be prepared with the probability and ml chapter so that you can get more common questions and very honestly guys if you want to get more prepared for the mcq for the coding sections please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore web the link will be given in the description box there you will get almost free materials for amazon ml summer schools so please visit it will be only for 10 rupees and please have that and try to get the opportunity at amazon ml summer school opportunity okay so let me share the coding questions which have asked which have been asked earlier okay so the question is this in a city a uh, street light turns on automatically and stays on for exactly b seconds each time it detects motion okay so if it detects motion again before turning off the timer resets okay and it stays on for another b seconds from the new detection time you are given a list a that is array where each element of ai represents the time when the street light detects motion and an integer b the duration in seconds for which the street light remains on after each motion detection okay so let me just uh, share the sample input so that you can uh, understand better so your task is to calculate the total time the street light remains on okay so you are uh, so the array a is sorted in a non decreasing order so sample input format is this given and sample output also 
sorry output format are also given okay so let me show the sample input so that you can understand better okay so as you can see here input is one and four that is the element for array a okay and this is the value of well, uh, b what is that representing let me share that so this is the first time when the motion detected at the first second the motion detected so how much time it is going to remain for two seconds so for one second and for two seconds it is going to be remaining okay and in the next time it is again detected at four second okay so it is going to be remain for two seconds so for four seconds if it is detected so it will be remaining for four seconds and five seconds so for two seconds right so how much time it was uh, remaining on that is for here two seconds here two seconds total four seconds okay so i hope you understood that's why the output is four and for the next sample input what's that that is this so a is the, the 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 lights are motions are detected at one second and two seconds and out like a uh, value of b is two output is three why let me just uh explain that okay so at the first second the motion detected so it will keep remaining on for two seconds so one and two seconds and again at the two seconds it detects motion so it will again keep remaining for two seconds so for two seconds and three seconds it is going to be remaining so now how much time it detects uh, how much time it was remaining on that is one two and three so for one to three seconds that means total three seconds it was remaining on okay so that's why it's, this two is common here so that's why it will just uh delete one and it will assume that this two as one okay one two three so that's why total three seconds was the light one so that's why output is three i hope you understood guys so let me just share the answer so that it will be better to understand okay okay so um, the code is written in python so if you want the code in any other language then please comment down and if i get more comment from your side i'll try to make more videos on this okay i usually don't uh, uh, like make videos on this still if you comment then i'll make okay so at first this is the sample input i have hard coded you don't have to write this you don't have to write this this will be already written you have to just write the logic for this code okay so a is equal to one four and b is equal to two so this is the uh, time when the motions are detected and this is the seconds okay for for the for this time that uh, the lights are on okay and this is the function we are going to be implemented okay we share the implementation here so at first we have initialized the total time as zero okay and the last one time as minus one why let me just discuss later okay so here at first uh, we are going through all the times all the detection times we are going through the times like one four as we got in array a we are going through all those elements okay so this time is holding the first value at the first iteration the second value at the second iteration so now if the time is equal to one at first so it is fetching from a array okay if the time is equal to one at first if time is greater than last on time so that means that the uh, light should be off at the very beginning right so that's why it is minus one the light should be off and in the first iteration it should be on it should be on so that's why this time if it is zero still it should be on okay so time greater than last on time so it will be obviously true so if it is true then it will to, uh, it will be like total time is equal to total time plus b so that means if the time this time is greater than the last on time then it will be like 0 plus the value b that is 2 right so in this case value b was 2 so it will be added and it will be 2 okay after added the last on time will be updated like last on time was time plus b so time was one and plus 
two that is three so last on time was on third uh, like at this second okay last on time was on this second and then in the next iteration the value of time is four now if time is greater than last on time so time is four is it greater than this last on time three yes it is true so again it will be inside this for loop uh, inside this if loop if loop if block and total time will be added again with the b so total time was two and the value of b was two so it will be four now total time will be four now and at the end it will return the total time that is four and we will get our desired output okay so this way it will calculating just uh, let me share one more output that was for uh one and two okay a was one and two so now here at first time is one if time is greater than last on time time is greater than last on time yes it is true okay it is true that means time one is greater than minus one so it is true so that's why total time will be plus is equal to b so total time is equal to zero plus b was two so it is now two right now in the next iteration if time uh so in the next iteration uh, it is sorry in the same iteration last one time will be added like time plus b so time was one and b is two so it becomes one plus two that is three so it is now three again it is checking if uh, now time is equal to two okay if time two greater than total time three last on time three no it is false so it will be jumped inside this else block so at first it is uh, it is what it is uh, calculating total time plus is equal to time plus b minus last on time why it is doing because there is overlapping time right so one two two three so there is overlap overlapping time so it will just uh, remove that time using this formula so total time is equal to total time that was two total time that, uh, that was two plus the time that is uh, again two plus b that is 2 minus last on time that is 3 okay so this will become 6 minus 3 that is 3 okay so total time will be 3 now so this is how it is calculating so i hope you understood so let me go to the like, let me run the code so that you can understand better okay so for the sample input as you can see for this uh, the output is 4 and for uh, this sample input the output should be three and as expected okay so i hope you like this video guys so if you have any question then please comment down and if you want me to upload various contents for this uh, exam then please comment down as well recommend me i will give importance to your comment and if you want the materials the resources for any component then please visit topmate.is.com and i am providing the materials for amazon ml summer school for free almost it just cost 10 rupees please visit and the link will be given in the description box and have the materials grab, grab the opportunity thank you